I want to suck. <laughs> Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. And I'm the ghost of media past. Wait, I, I thought we were done with you. You were supposed to be gone last week. Just so upset about one thing. And, uh, okay, what, uh, what one thing is back? They brought back the Hardy Boys. Of all things, they brought back the Hardy Boys. It's on Hulu. When their detective father, Fenton, begins investigating a case, the boys who are hardy start to look into things themselves. They brought back the Hardy Boys. These books are from the 1920s. They're almost 100 years old. They had to rewrite them in the 50s because they were too racist. What's next, Nancy Drew? Um, they actually brought back Nancy Drew last year. Supposed to get a second season in uh, 2021. The afterlife is pain. All I have is to watch these things that have been rebooted. Now you're going to tell me the Babysitter Club is back. Uh, yeah, Ghost, the Babysitter Club actually came back in a new series in the summer. <sighs> All right, uh, well, thank you so much, Ghost. Uh, we'll be back after this with your video game news. I was born in the fame that is my only home. And the place is a bam. They call me Rogers Wall. Welcome back to Media Minute, and uh, yeah, the ghost has rolled out of here, so it's just me right now, so it's 50% less spooky than it was earlier. We're hoping Jesse's going to be back again next week. All right, so let's get into to video game news. Well, first up is Dragon Quest Nine. Echoes on... Next up is Dragon... Now, why am I saying next up? First up is Dragon Quest IX S, Echoes of an Elusive Age. It includes all the content from the original Dragon Quest IX. Yes, it's another remake, update, special editions, colon, whatever. You have extra character scenarios, the ability to switch between 2D and 3D modes. And uh, if you want the original Japanese voice acting, you can do that as well. It's available for, it's available for the PS4, P PC, Switch, and Xbox One, scoring 92 on Metacritic. Next up is Sam and Max Save the World Remastered. Yes, another remastered. I think we might have to bring back the ghost. It's for the uh, PC and Switch. The Freelance Police are back in a remastered version of their uh, seasonal episode adventure game that came out in the uh, late 2000s. You get to play as your favorite dog and bunny thing. Up next is Twin Mirror for the PC, Xbox One, and PS4 by Don't Not Entertainment. You get to play as Sam, a th you get to play as Sam, a 33-year-old recover, 33-year-old recover. My God, my notes are terrible this morning. Play as Sam, a 33-year-old recovering al. Oh, he's recovering from a breakup. Okay. You get to play as Sam, who's a 33-year-old uh, who is recovering from a recent breakup, and has returned there to the. <laughs> You get to play as Sam, a 33-year-old who has, uh, who has been, my God. <laughs> All right, don't get the giggles. Namaste. You get to play as Sam, a 33-year-old who is recovering from a recent breakup. So he returns to his hometown of Basswood. I think it's Basswood, but I'm going to say Basswood because that's the type of day it is. The adventure begins when Sam wakes up in a hotel with a bloody shirt. Sounds like a typical Saturday evening to me. Recall your memories and find the truth by exploring the dark undertones of small town West Virginia. Scoring 65 on Metacritic. Now, who doesn't love dogs? 
What about if you had two dogs and you stuck them together? Well, then you get Fogs for all major platforms. You play as a duo of dogs who are linked by a stretchy belly. Bark, bite, and bounce your way through a captivating puzzle-filled adventure. You get to play this co-op or single player as well. I'm not sure if one person gets a dog head or what, but that sounds pretty compelling. Next up is Kronos, Before the Ashes for PC, Xbox One, PC, PC, no. Next up is Kronos, Before the Ashes for PC, Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. It's an adventure RPG where every time you die, your character ages by one year. Players have to adapt to their character progress as the years go by, as you go from a nimble and quick young man to a wise and attuned mage. Very interesting concept. Now the big thing for the week. Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, unless it gets delayed again in the next two days, it should be out this Thursday for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. It's by CD Projekt Red, the guys who did the Witcher series. It's an open-world action adventure set in the cyberpunk Night City. Become a cyberpunk mercenary named V, who's going after a one-of-a-kind implant that's the key to immortality. And you have Keanu Reeves in your head. He plays a character called Johnny Silverhand, who was actually a character in the old pen and paper cyberpunk RPG. He's dead, and he's in your head. So if you're okay with Keanu Reeves, if you're okay with Keanu Reeves being in your head, well, this might be the game for you. Scoring 91 so far on Metacritic, but, but there's kind of some weird things going on with the reviews. Uh, CG Project Red won't let the reviewers show current gameplay. They'll, they'll, they make them show like trailers while they're doing the review, so it's a little bit fishy. We'll have to see what happens there. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining us for this week of Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. Hopefully Jesse will be back again next week. Make sure you subscribe and smash that like button.